Yo, 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 what is up guys? It's Cone back here again today with another video. I just hit 5,000 subscribers on YouTube and that's kind of surreal to me that there are 5,000 of you out there that click on my videos and we're like, yeah, this guy's cool enough to subscribe to listening to him talk about basketball in his bedroom. That's crazy to me. So I want to thank every single one of you that has either subscribed, just watched one of my videos. And if you do watch my videos and you're not subscribed, you should do that. Uh, everyone who's liked the video left a comment. Thank you so very much. This is only the beginning. I promise you we're going for 10 K next. And I, I really just can't believe I'm at this milestone already. This is my first season doing NBA content here on YouTube. So it's ridiculous to to me that I've already got 5,000 of you that have willingly subscribed to my channel. So once again, thank you so much. Uh, some quick shout outs, shout out to every one of you that, like I said, has subscribed, like a video or commented, but also interacts with me on Twitter. Twitter's like my main platform probably. So go follow me on Twitter if you don't already. I live tweet NBA games. I tweet about basketball pretty much like 10 times a day. So if you want to hear more from me, go check me out on Twitter. It's in the description below or it's three underscore cone on Twitter. Every one of you who has followed me on there, who retweets or likes my tweets about my videos, who comments on my tweets, thank you so much. I can't overstate how much the support means to me. Thank you to my guys over at the Thunder uh, Topic Thunder podcast. I'm wearing a shirt right now uh, from the podcast. I'm on that. If you did not know, I'll leave a link to that also in the description below. It's on podcast platforms wherever you get them. And I talk about the Thunder on there with the guys about once or twice a week. So if you want to hear me talk about the Thunder more, which I know a lot of people on this channel are Thunder fans because I am, make sure you go check that out. You don't want to miss out on that. It's a ton of fun. Shout out to everyone who sponsored me or I've partnered with uh, my guy Sean Graham from Close by Graham, Prize Pick, Seat Geek, really just anyone who has believed in me up to this point because this is only the beginning. If you're here right now, you have believed in me from the very beginning and I can't thank you enough for that. So I thought a fun video to do would be a Q&A and I will talk a lot about basketball in this because that's kind of my brand is basketball, but I want to focus more on who I am as a person. So I'm going to answer mostly questions from you guys that I got on Twitter and YouTube that focus more on me because like I said, I've talked about basketball a million times on this channel, but I feel like I really haven't talked about myself that much. So we're just going to go ahead and get into it. Uh, I don't have the names off the top of my head who asked each one of these questions. I've got a Google doc pulled up here on my screen, but I am going to flash the comments down below, like maybe like right here ish when I ask the question. So if you ask the question, you'll see your name. There were also some people who asked like duplicate questions like this first question is one that I got multiple times. So I'm just gonna flash the first one that I saw. Thank you to every single one of you who asked a question and here we go. So the first question is how I became an NBA fan and also a lot of people asked about Thunder fans. So I'm gonna throw that in there as well. And this question also asks what state am I from? Uh, I'm from Virginia. I've lived here my entire life. I'm 21 years old. So lived here all 21 years and probably will still live here for a couple more before I eventually potentially move somewhere else. And then as for me becoming an NBA and a Thunder fan, it's kind of a weird story. So I'll just go into it. When I was younger, I was one of those kids that watched like hella Minecraft YouTube videos. Like that was my thing in like middle to early high school. And this guy that I used to watch play Minecraft started playing NBA 2K. And before then, I was not into the NBA at all. I had always been a baseball kid. My family was all into baseball. No one was really into basketball. So I started watching NBA 2K videos and I was like, oh, this looks like a fun game. Like he was just playing my career. And I... I went to GameStop one day with like, I think it was like some birthday money or something like that. And my mom's like, okay, you can get a game. And I was like, I want NBA 2K. And she's like, are you sure you're going to like that? And I was like, yeah, I think I'll like it. Like, it'll probably be fun. And from then on, I just became this huge basketball fan. I started playing basketball like the next year and I just really got into the NBA. I just started watching games. I got like an NBA Jam app on my phone as well and ultimately became a Thunder fan through watching games and just watching Russell Westbrook. Another question a lot of people asked me was, what player made me fall in love with basketball? And that's Russell Westbrook. So that's why he is my favorite player of all time. Of course, the Thunder legend himself. And that's how I got into basketball. And like I said, just following Westbrook became a Thunder fan and I've become more and more of one to the point where even when Russ is gone, I'm a diehard Thunder fan and that'll never change. Next question is what inspired you to join NBA Twitter slash start a YouTube channel? So for NBA Twitter, I made my account three underscore cone in 2016. I didn't touch, well, I tweeted on about twice and it was just me messing around with one of my friends on Twitter. 
I didn't really touch it until 2019, right around the time when Russell Westbrook got traded, actually, because that was a big turning point in like the Thunder's franchise history. We were losing Russ, we were losing PG, and we were entering this kind of like rebuilding phase. And I really, really wanted to talk about it with other people. But I really didn't have many people to talk about it with. My friends really like basketball as well, but they're not as into it as I am. Like, I'm a diehard. You've seen this channel. I watch like every single basketball game that I can. I'm super into it. And I wanted a better way to talk about people or talk about basketball with other people. So I was like, I have this account. I haven't used it in forever. So I'll, you know, start using it. And just out of nowhere, it kind of blew up, especially around the time when the like quarantine NBA season lockout kind of happened. And when my Twitter account started blowing up, I was like, oh my God, this is crazy. Like it's always been a dream of mine to be able to talk about sports with people and potentially turn that into a career. So this past winter, I, I have always watched basketball content on YouTube and it kind of just occurred to me that maybe that's something I could do. So I started this YouTube channel in like early December of 2020. So it's been going for about like eight months now. That's crazy that it's already been eight months that I've been making these videos. But it's been going for about eight months. I love it so much. It's like my one of my biggest passions is both basketball and this YouTube channel. And I'm going to continue to grow it. I want to try and turn this into a career. And I just love talking basketball both by myself here sitting in my room and with you guys on Twitter. So thank you to every single one of you who is helping me to make this dream a reality of sorts. I'm going to keep working, I promise. And thank you so much for the support. Now, another question that I've, I've gotten asked this a lot is kind of who do I play like in real life in basketball? And it's kind of a tough one. Uh, I think I play like a bunch of different players, but if I had to go with one, it's probably Kyrie, I guess, just in terms of like, I like to dribble. I'll like kind of shoot these like weird, like I almost play like a post player despite being a guard. I'm six feet tall, by the way. So I am nowhere near a really tall person. So I kind of like to rely on being like kind of shifty to get through the lane, get to the basket, but I'll shoot threes every now and again. I also like to shoot like that. If you watch Russell Westbrook play, he has that like pull up mid range jumper. So I like to shoot that sometimes not as much off the glass like he does, but I will shoot that. So I, if I had to say I played like a certain player, I would probably say Kyrie with like Westbrook mixed in there. Favorite non-Thunder player? I could just say Westbrook if I really wanted to, but whenever I get asked this question, I try to go non-Thunder players in the past either because that's a cop-out answer. So my favorite non-Thunder players, I'll name a couple off the top of my head. Uh, big LeBron guy. I like uh, Devin Booker a lot. I would say Chris Paul and Russell Westbrook, but they're not on, or they were on the Thunder. Um, Embiid, I like Embiid a lot. I've become a huge Giannis fan, especially over the course of these playoffs. And I really like Jalen Brown. So there are five guys for you to uh, think about. Another question I got asked is my favorite Kanye song, probably because they've seen me be tweeting about Kanye recently on my Twitter. I'm a big Kanye fan. He's my favorite musical artist of all time. So my favorite Kanye song is Runaway. And if you're wondering about favorite album, it's my beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. Another question that I get asked a lot is my advice for smaller YouTubers. So the, my problem with this is I almost feel like I'm still a smaller YouTuber, like 5,000 is a big number to me, but in the grand scheme of things, you know, it's not crazy or anything like that. But my advice, I guess, is just be consistent, Can, like keep uploading, even if you're not getting the views, because there were some videos that I've done in the past where I would get like a hundred views and I felt like I worked really hard on a video and it would do, really just perform pretty poorly compared to what I had been getting. And there was a lot of times where your views are going to fluctuate up and down. Just stick with it. I promise. If I can do this, you can do it. I promise. Uh, another question is, will you please sign the traffic cone that I stole? Yes. Yes, I will. Who would be your dream collab for your YouTube channel? Um, I guess probably like Thunder players or just like NBA players in general. I would love to talk to like a Shea or a Dort, obviously talk to Westbrook, LeBron. Those are like dream, dream, like really far down the line, pipe dream type stuff. In terms of like other content creators, I've been asked like how I got inspired to do YouTube and who are some creators that have inspired me. Uh, Kenny is probably the biggest one. You know, Kenny, king of the fourth quarter and uh, potential may have a video with him coming out at some point down the line in the off season. So be on the lookout for that. That would be a dream collab for me. And outside of that, I would just love to, at some point, get to talk some, to some of the Thunder guys and a big one that I really don't think will ever happen, but I would love to see it at some point. Sam Presti. Sam Presti is a big one. I would love the opportunity to talk to him at one point, just because 
He's the mastermind behind it all. And I feel like he's very mysterious. Like, I feel like I don't know that much about Sam Presti himself. So I'd love to see that. Uh, only a couple questions left, but this one is, what new videos do you have in mind? So in the off season, what I really want to do, because we won't be having like games every other day. So I can't do the after the buzzer videos anymore. I kind of want to do like an after the buzzer season finale type thing where I recap some big moments from the NBA season, talk about my thoughts on the season as a whole, maybe a little segment about the Thunder, where I see us going in the future. Just, you know, kind of some season wrap up stuff because tomorrow might be the last after the buzzer video with potentially the NBA finals ending. And I don't know. I just kind of feel like I want some big finale. So that might be coming out. Let me know if you want to see any of these videos that I mentioned in this segment. Also, I've really been thinking about doing a video or multiple videos talking about the Thunder's past. Obviously, as a big Thunder guy, I've looked into it so much and I've experienced it myself. Particularly, I think one of the biggest moments in NBA history recently is OKC blowing that 3-1 lead in 2016. And I kind of want to talk about like, like just kind of give like a hypothetical. Maybe this is because I've been watching Loki. I'm also a big Marvel fan if you didn't know. But... I kind of want to talk about what an alternate timeline would look like if OKC held on and did not blow that 3-1 lead. Kind of just go down a huge rabbit hole of hypotheticals from 2016 to now. What could have changed? What I think would have changed? So let me know if you want to see that video. Also, I feel like a fun video would be talking about just all the heartbreak that the Thunder have gone through. So you can hear my perspective on all of that. Everything from the 3-1 lead to like losing in the finals as a young core to the Dame shot over Paul George to trading Westbrook, all this different stuff. So let me know if you want to see something like that. I also want to do a mock draft at some point. I'm not at all a draft expert, so I can't promise it'll be any good, but people have been asking for my opinion, so I'll probably make something like that. Maybe a couple more prospect videos leading up to the draft, which is only in 10 days. Uh, I'm going to do, obviously, videos reacting to free agent signings, big trades that come out, so there will be plenty of basketball content to still come in the offseason despite not having games. So if you're worried that this channel is going to disappear or anything, I promise you it's not. I have way too much fun making these videos. And finally, the last question that I'm answering this one is, what is my goal in five years? And this is a video that maybe I'll come back to in five years and look at. And if any of this comes true, maybe I could do like a reaction to this type of stuff. But my goal in five years is to be a household name in this industry. I want to be someone that people like I look up to other YouTubers or other people that have inspired me. I want to be that person for other people. I have had people mention that, but, and I've also had people say like, like I tweeted out the other day, I want to do big things. And some people have said, you already are, but I, I have such big dreams. And for this channel and for me as a, someone who loves the game of basketball, I, it's no joke when I say my dream career would be to make it somehow and be able to turn this YouTube channel or just sports media in general into some kind of career. I want to be someone that people respect, someone that people know, and someone that people can be inspired by the similar way that I have been inspired by other people. That's the goal in five years. I want to be a name that people recognize. I want to be someone who's able to go to big NBA games and like talk with you guys, interact with y'all. I want to, I just want to be someone who can inspire others. That's my big goal. I'm not going to set like a subscriber count because I have no idea what the future holds. For all I know, this channel could tank in the next year. And that's possible. That's kind of the way that this YouTube thing goes. It's very volatile. But I have faith in myself and I have faith in this channel. I'm going to be doing big things. I won't say specifically what because I have no idea. And if you, uh, Cone in the future, are seeing this video, um, let me know what you think about everything I'm saying. Let me know if we made it or not. But... For the time being, I'm just doing my thing. I'm going to keep doing my thing and we'll see where this goes. So those are the questions. Thank you guys so much for asking them. Uh, once again, thank you so much for the support. I can't believe I'm making this 5,000 subscriber video in just my first season on NBA YouTube. Thank you to everyone who has supported me. Thank you to everyone who has ever interacted with me. I can't thank you enough. It seriously blows my mind, the amount of support that I've gotten on both Twitter and YouTube in this short period of time that I've been interacting with y'all. But that being said, I appreciate you guys watching this video. Look out for the after the buzz or potential uh, final like game recap of the season tomorrow. Thank you again for 5,000 subscribers. I will see you guys later. Real one, say it back.